Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dallas. In this video I'm going to talk about uh, classifying different types of angles. I'm going to talk about acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, and straight angle. Uh, this straight angle is something you might not be familiar with, so this is one you especially want to pay attention to. Uh, but let's move on to the acute angle. An acute angle is an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. So less than 90 degrees. And so this is an example of an acute angle because it's 50 degrees, which is less than 90. We're talking about angles that are like from 1 degree all the way up to 89 degrees. And when I say measures, I'm talking about if I were to take a protractor and measure the angle, uh, this goes from 0 to 50, so this is a 50 degree angle, so that's an acute angle. So that's what I'm talking about with measures. You take a protractor, you measure the angle, it's going to be less than 90 degrees for an acute angle. Uh, well, the next one we have is a right angle. A right angle is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. So we're not talking 89 degrees, we're not talking about 91 degrees, it's exactly 90 degrees. And if I were to measure this angle right here, you'd see that this angle from this ray to this ray here is, between, is from 0 to 90, so that's a 90 degree angle. Now on right angles, you'll generally not see 90 degrees written on it. There's a symbol for 90 degrees, and that's a little box that's touching the two rays and the vertex. And so this indicates that this angle is a 90 degree angle. So if you ever see uh, lines and an angle that's set up like this, and you see a little box in there, uh, that means it's a 90 degree angle, which is a right angle. Uh, moving on here, we have an obtuse angle. Uh, an obtuse angle is an angle that measures over 90 degrees. Uh, but less than 180 degrees. So it's greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. So we're talking from 91 degrees all the way up to 179 degrees. Uh, so if I were to take this protractor here and I stuck it on here like I am right here and I'm measuring it, uh, it goes from 0 all the way up to 140. So since this is between uh, 90 degrees and 180 degrees, then this is going to be an example of an obtuse angle. Uh, now again, it goes from all the way from about right here all the way down to here would be an obtuse angle. And if you're not quite sure if something's an obtuse angle, uh, if you were to like draw a line straight up from this vertex here, which is representing right around a 90 degree angle, this is definitely greater than 90 degrees, so this is a this is going to be an obtuse angle. Uh, and then next one we have is we have a straight angle. Uh, this is something you might not be familiar with. It's an angle that measures exactly 180 degrees. Uh, and so notice we have a little vertex right here, so I have a ray going to the right. I have a ray going in the opposite direction to the left. And if I were to take this protractor and stick it on the vertex like I do right now, it goes from 0 all the way around to 180. Uh, or I could have measured the other way around. I could have gone from, if this was 0 and I flipped this protractor around, it would go from 0 to 180 as well in the bottom. And so uh, something that's special about straight angles uh, are that they measure 180 degrees going in either direction here. So it doesn't matter which way you go. And so a straight angle is exactly 180 degrees. And so like, if you were to like, look at the, uh, a piece of paper, uh, a piece of paper, the side of a piece of paper is straight. Uh, so that angle is 180 degrees. And so to kind of sum things up all at once, an acute angle is uh, less than 90 degrees. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is between uh, 90 degrees and 180 degrees, and a straight angle measures exactly 180 degrees. Anyways, hopefully this helps you understand uh, angles a little bit better, and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.